days until Arvin leaves me for the bubble training in Laguna. So we're getting our last workout in together because he has to start isolating himself before entering the bubble. So today we're going to work out together like we used to when we were just dating. to go get his swab test done. Um, it's required before they enter the bubbles. Even though we have seven days left together, he still has a lot to get done. So we're trying to get everything done as soon as possible so then that way we can just relax and enjoy holiday time together until I gotta drop him off at the bubble, which is in Laguna. Honestly, it's hard to focus because um, we haven't been apart since we got married because we got married and there was a lockdown so we literally had a year together he didn't have any games i'm just really uncertain because there's all this news about like the olympics being canceled or his olympic qualifying keeps getting um postponed i really need to mentally and emotionally get myself together because no choice this is our situation we've always talked about him qualifying for the olympics and me staying here and supporting him until then. But then the pandemic happened, so it was a lot of adjusting. But now is the time, so let's see. I pray that he just stays safe while he's away and that he's focused, so then that way, when the time comes for qualifying, he can qualify, then we can go to the Olympics, and then he can finally achieve his dream. And then maybe we can move on and move to the U.S. already and level up and maybe focus on starting a family and moving forward with our lives. Um, I don't even know how much depth he's going to go into talking with this whole YouTube thing, but I know he's excited to share his journey with people from now up until the Olympic qualifying, then our transition from living in the Philippines to eventually migrating to the U.S where I'm from. Okay, so I'm gonna start working. Um, I'm gonna work on my laptop, get some work done before he gets back. So then that way, when we do have to get other things done, like have his teeth checked, uh, make sure he has enough essentials stocked up. So then that way, while he's away, his supplies just doesn't run low. Cause it's, I know that it's going to be hard for me to get him things because he's so far away. So yeah, I'm gonna get to work. We're doing final packing. Uh, we got some stuff from the US that my family sent over and we're, we added some to his little box of goodies here. Oh, I'm so jealous of this, it's so nice. Last three days until he leaves. from him. All of us. And after getting married, we were together the whole time. This is the pandemic, so it's like a year together. This is the longest time we're gonna be separated and I don't know how long it's gonna be for. The pets definitely get along with Arvin more than me. Especially Iro. They have a morning routine. I don't know how Iro's gonna react. Arvin's gone. And then Tokyo's his baby girl. I don't want to drop him off. I can't get over how clingy their pets are because they just know how sad I am. And they're really gonna miss Arvin. Bye bye baby boy. Bye bye. Bye bye. No, they're going with you. Inside. They want to go inside. Inside. They want to go with you. Take it to Laguna.
I'm gonna miss you, bye. Bye bye. So, para malaman yun, this is not clothes. This is not clothes. This is all boots. <laughs> We're in Tagaytay. Bags of beans, our favorite coffee and breakfast. Ivan is always shocked at the sizes of the portions here, and I always tell him that this is what American meals look like. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> I really enjoy it because it makes me feel like I'm at home. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to